Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's dive deep into this reading to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. Please do remember that these readings are general, so take what is resonating with you, leave behind anything that is not for you. If you need your own personal reading done, my website is linked in the description box below. Let's have a look to see at the bottom of the deck what you can currently see at the moment but need to know. You are having the energies of the Seven of Cups coming up. The Seven of Cups is all about decisions and opportunities coming in. The Divine is saying that what you might not be able to see at the moment is that some opportunities that are coming in, they are not as good as you think they are. Some opportunities, however, could be leading you to climbing the ladder to go places. So when we're working with the energies of the Seven of Cups, it's all about analyzing before you make a decision. Really sitting down and looking at a situation from different angles before you make that decision. However, the Seven of Cups is also a card of analysis paralysis where you could just be like, mm, I don't know what if, what if. The divine is saying to you, use your intuition if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling confused. Don't waste too much time on making that decision. But at the same time, don't rush into anything. So opportunities are going to be coming in. And it is important for you to show gratitude. Because the more gratitude you show, the more opportunities come towards you. Okay, it is an energy of inviting more options to come towards you. The energies of this reading is quite interesting when we're looking at our tarot cards. But what we're going to do first before we look at these energies, we are going to be looking at our oracle cards, bringing them in to help us elaborate on the messages that are already on the table. As we get our oracle cards, I want to remind you, like I already told you, personal readings are available on my website. We also have the tarot course that is available and the courses so for those people who are wanting to learn tarot. We really dive deep into the cards, into the meaning. We work with the energy of teaching you how to use your intuition, not just memorizing the cards, seeing the deeper message that is being woven between the cards so that you're able to either read for yourself or to read for other people. So tarot course in the description box below as well. Uh, there's a 30 day magic course that is available for those of you who want to learn how to do magic, how to do your own rituals like cord cutting ceremonies, bunching ceremonies, how to do honey jars and a lot, lot more. Everything that you need to know is in the description box below. Okay, so now we have our oracle cards on the table and like I said to you, there are opportunities that are coming in here. What is really jumping in into this reading is this energy here where the divine is saying that you are currently lucky. So you have the energies of lucky number seven that are on the table. You have the energies of really inviting this divine timing to bring a lot of opportunities towards you. So the divine is saying it is important for you to understand that when we are working with the energies of number seven, we are indeed lucky. But the luck that is here is connected to you and how you invite the luck to enter into your life. Because I want you to observe our tarot card that is here. Really take a moment to look at the Four of Cups. There is an energy that is there of apathy. There's an energy that is here of just almost feeling like grumpy, ungrateful even. Because can you see, there is another opportunity that is being presented to you. But for some of you, you are not seeing this opportunity for what it can grow into. It could be something that is not really looking like it's something that you want to get involved in because it's not going to pay you enough money. If this is connected to a romantic situation, the person who could be pursuing you, maybe they don't look like the person that you usually date. The divine is saying that there are blessings in disguise that are around you at the moment. And it is important for you before you say no, before you step into this type of vibration, to look at what is being offered to you and then to step into the energy of the Seven of Cups, analyzing everything before you say yes. Okay, but the takeaway from these cards, the divine is saying that you are lucky and there is things that are wanting to come into your life and to uplift 
to bring opportunity, to bring the vibrancy around you, to lift that up. And it's important for you to really look at everything that is coming towards you, okay? Don't look at past losses and make you think that you are not able to bring in the very things that you've been praying for for a long time. Don't look at the past and let it color your judgment because the divine is telling you this is what you need to know. Opportunities are absolutely coming towards you. So look at everything that is being presented and again, analyze everything that is being presented because you don't want to make a decision that leads to more losses. So as we're looking at our tarot card, the first tarot card that is here is the energies of the Queen of Cups. Before I get this to the camera, I want you to observe that all the tarot cards that you have received are connected to one type of energy and these are the cups. The cups are about your emotions. The cups are about the things that operate on the heart space, the things that we love. The cups are about our intuition. So this energy is very much present. It's very much heavy around you. So the divine is saying it is really important to balance your emotions at the moment because sometimes when we're too much in our emotions, this clouds our judgments. Then we are not able to make decisions logically. The divine is saying balance between logic, analyzing, and also using your intuition and also asking yourself the hard questions before you go forward. This is going to be really important because this unlocks this energy of luck that is here. Okay, so as I told you, there is just a sense of not being able to see the whole complete picture. Can you see what I'm talking about? There is just an energy that is here where you are not seeing the blessings that are here that are in disguise. There is an opportunity that is here where it is presenting you itself and it could be leading you to amazing unfoldments as we're going over to the 2024 year. But at the same time, there just could be something else that you need to bear in mind. Okay, so the divine is saying that you are indeed lucky, but do understand that there could just be something that is happening or maybe something that has happened in the recent past that is coloring your judgment where you are not able to see the whole complete picture. Because like I'm emphasizing again and again, the blessings that are here are in disguise. They are not obvious. You're not able to see everything. So this is why you have to sit down with your intuition, sit down with your guides and your ancestors and really see things for what they are. So I want you to comment in the comment section, number seven, and I am lucky to activate that luck that is around you at the moment. Let's look at the Queen of Cups that we spoke about earlier. So the Queen of Cups is saying to you, like we have already spoken when we were looking at the Four of Cups, I'm also going to bring the energies of the Eight of Cups to the table. So can you observe our cards that are here? The energies of the Queen of Cups is asking you to step into that energy of being mature. This is emotional maturity that you're being asked to step into. The divine is saying that there's a sense of release that is here. There's a sense of surrender that is here. There's a sense of letting go that is around you. And this is being emphasized by the energies of the Eight of Cups. As you can see, we have our woman who is walking away from something and walking towards a new beginning. And equally, the Four of Cups, as you can see, there is something that is wanting to come into your life that is coming towards you. So if you feel that maybe you want to change your job, start applying for new jobs and apply for jobs that pay better, that you even think maybe you are not qualified for because your luck is here. And opportunities will present themselves. So make sure that you're putting yourself out there and open those doors of opportunities. And you could be pleasantly surprised at the offers that are coming in and the blessings in disguise that are coming in. Because your guides, your ancestors are wanting to you to have an energy of play. They're wanting you to have an energy of fun. They're just wanting you to let go and loosen up a little bit. So they are going to be guiding you in a way that is fun, that is relaxed, in a way that when you look back, everything makes sense and it puts a smile on your face. 
So your guardian angels are saying to you that it is important for you to understand that you have really some exciting new beginnings that are here. Do not keep looking back at what you walked away from. There are some blessings that are coming towards you that are going to be leading to a happy ending. And you must understand this on a deep level. Because when you do, you activate these energies and you welcome these energies into your life. So again, there are some exciting chapters that are waiting for you to walk towards them. There are blessings that are coming in that are waiting for you to turn around and open up your hand and to accept this into your life. And there are golden opportunities that are going to be flowing towards you. So do everything in your power right now to activate this energy of luck and to Apply for those jobs. Ask that person out. Step out of your comfort zone. And you could be pleasantly surprised about what happens next. Okay. The last card that we have on the table. The divine is saying to you that it is going to be important for you to, uh, to pay attention to your dreams. To pay attention to premonitions that could be happening. There is clarity, aha moments that is on the table for you. It's interesting, like I told you, that all the tarot cards that you received were connected to the energies of the cups. Cups are connected to water, and the water element is ruled by the moon. So can you see why this card is closing off this reading for us? Because the divine is saying to you, it is important for you to be very intuitive. Pay attention to your dreams, write your dreams down, keep a dream journal, and then when you look back, everything is going to be making sense. So beloved... That is the message that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And again, on my website, you can find personal readings, tarot courses if you're wanting to learn. There is a lot more that is available. So go and be curious and have a look around at the offerings that are there. On that note, I'm going to see you in my next reading. And it is a goodbye from me.